Understanding Ectopic Pregnancy Ectopic pregnancy is a potentially life-threatening condition that occurs when a fertilized egg implants outside the uterus. Most commonly, these pregnancies occur in the fallopian tubes, accounting for about 95% of cases. However, they can also occur in other locations such as the cervix or abdominal cavity. This condition affects approximately 2% of all pregnancies, with the incidence rising in recent years. As a healthcare professional, it's crucial to be well-versed in recognizing, diagnosing, and managing ectopic pregnancies to ensure the best possible outcomes for patients. Risk Factors Several factors can increase a woman's risk of experiencing an ectopic pregnancy. Understanding these risk factors can help you identify patients who may be at higher risk. History of Pelvic Inflammatory Disease, PID Previous ectopic pregnancy Tubal surgery, including tubal ligation or reversal Use of assisted reproductive technologies Smoking It's important to note that while these risk factors increase the likelihood of an ectopic pregnancy, they are not prerequisites. Ectopic pregnancies can occur in women with no identifiable risk factors, so maintaining a high index of suspicion is crucial. Signs and Symptoms Early recognition of ectopic pregnancy is vital for preventing life-threatening complications. As a healthcare provider, you should be alert to the following signs and symptoms. Abdominal pain, typically sharp or stabbing, often localized to one side of the abdomen. Vaginal bleeding, can range from light spotting to heavier, irregular bleeding. Amenorrhea, a missed period, which is common in all pregnancies. Shoulder pain. Referred pain caused by irritation of the diaphragm from abdominal bleeding. Dizziness or fainting, potentially indicating internal bleeding. Remember that not all patients will experience all these symptoms, and some may present with symptoms similar to other conditions such as miscarriage or ovarian cyst rupture. Therefore, maintaining a high index of suspicion is crucial in any woman of reproductive age presenting with these symptoms. Diagnosis Diagnosing an ectopic pregnancy can be challenging due to its variable presentation. A combination of clinical evaluation and diagnostic tests is typically used to reach a definitive diagnosis. Medical history and physical examination, a thorough assessment, including risk factors and a pelvic exam, is the first step. Pregnancy test. A positive pregnancy test is essential in the diagnostic process. Serial beta-HCG measurements play a crucial role in diagnosis and management. A single measurement of beta-HCG isn't always reliable in differentiating between ectopic pregnancies and miscarriages. Even with low beta-HCG levels, there's a risk of ectopic pregnancy rupturing. It's recommended to monitor beta-HCG levels every two days. A significant increase of more than 66% generally indicates a normal pregnancy, although this can sometimes happen in ectopic pregnancies. However, a smaller increase or a decrease in beta-HCG levels is strongly suggestive of an abnormal pregnancy, particularly an ectopic pregnancy. Declining levels usually indicate a non-viable pregnancy, whether it's inside, or outside the uterus. Tranabdominal ultrasound. This imaging technique allows visualization of ascites in the cul-de-sac or Morrison's pouch. Transvaginal ultrasound. This imaging technique allows visualization of the uterus and ovaries to determine the pregnancy's location. In many cases, an ectopic pregnancy can be directly visualized. The ultrasound examination indicated a potential ectopic pregnancy. Findings suggestive of this included a gestational sac, yolk sac, or fetal pole located outside of the uterus. The pregnancy might be implanted in the wall of the fallopian tube, interstitial or cornua, or even in the cervix. Additionally, a high level of the pregnancy hormone, beta-HCG, without a visible pregnancy within the uterus, a false pregnancy sac, a specific pattern of blood flow around the fallopian tube, tubal ring, 
or a complex mass in the reproductive area could also suggest an ectopic pregnancy. Other possible indicators were the presence of blood clots or fluid in the cul-de-sac or the presence of a significant amount of clear fluid in the cul-de-sac. An ectopic pregnancy should be suspected if transvaginal ultrasonography shows no intrauterine gestational sac when the beta-HCG level is higher than 1,500 MIU per milliliter. The discriminatory zone for ultrasound visualization of an intrauterine pregnancy is a beta-HCG level above 1,500 MIU per milliliter for transvaginal ultrasound or above 6,000 MIU per milliliter for transabdominal ultrasound. If the beta-HCG level plateaus or fails to double in 48 hours and the ultrasound examination fails to identify an intrauterine gestational sac, Uterine curatage may determine the presence or absence of chorionic villi. The Critical Role of Serial Beta-HCG Levels Understanding the dynamics of beta-HCG levels is crucial in diagnosing and managing ectopic pregnancies. Here's what you need to know. In a normal pregnancy, beta-HCG levels typically double every 1.8 to 3 days during the first 6 to 7 weeks. For ectopic pregnancies, beta-HCG levels may rise more slowly, plateau, or even decline. To use serial beta-HCG levels effectively, take a baseline measurement at initial presentation. Obtain a follow-up measurement 48 to 72 hours later. Interpreting the results. Normal rise doubling or 66% increase generally indicates a viable intrauterine pregnancy. Slow rise or plateau suggests an abnormal pregnancy, ectopic or miscarriage. Rapid decline usually indicates a miscarriage. Slow decline may suggest an ectopic pregnancy. Remember that while serial beta-HCG levels are valuable, they're not infallible. There can be overlap in beta-HCG levels between normal and ectopic pregnancies, especially in early stages. Furthermore, ruptured ectopic pregnancies can occur at very low or even undetectable beta-HCG levels. Treatment Treatment for ectopic pregnancy depends on various factors, including the pregnancy's location and size, the patient's clinical stability, and future fertility desires. The main treatment options include expectant management for small, stable ectopic pregnancies with low and declining beta-HCG levels. Close monitoring of beta-HCG levels and symptoms is indicated. Methotrexate therapy. This medication stops the growth of rapidly dividing cells and is most effective for hemodynamically stable patients with small, unruptured ectopic pregnancies with low beta-HCG levels. Surgical intervention, often necessary for large ectopic pregnancies, ruptured fallopian tubes, or patients experiencing significant pain or bleeding. Laparoscopic surgery is typically preferred due to its minimally invasive nature. Complications Ectopic pregnancy can lead to life-threatening complications if left untreated. As a healthcare provider, you should be prepared to manage these potential complications. Rupture. A ruptured ectopic pregnancy is a surgical emergency requiring immediate intervention due to significant internal bleeding. Hemorrhage. Internal bleeding can occur even without rupture, especially with large ectopic pregnancies. Future fertility implications. Ectopic pregnancies can damage fallopian tubes, potentially affecting future fertility. Patient education. Providing comprehensive patient education and support is a crucial aspect of managing ectopic pregnancies. Ensure your patients understand the nature of their condition and its potential risks, available treatment options and their implications, potential long-term effects on fertility, the importance of follow-up care and monitoring. Remember to address the emotional aspects as well. An ectopic pregnancy can be a traumatic experience and patients may benefit from counseling or support groups. Take-home message. Ectopic pregnancy remains a significant cause of maternal morbidity and mortality. As a healthcare professional, your vigilance in recognizing risk factors 
identifying symptoms, and promptly diagnosing and managing this condition can make a crucial difference in patient outcomes. By staying informed about the latest diagnostic techniques and treatment options, and by maintaining a high index of suspicion, you can play a vital role in ensuring the best possible care for women experiencing this potentially life-threatening condition. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.